everybody. Welcome to scrapbook.com. I'm Debbie Adams and I'm from Spellbinders Paper Arts and I'm an in-house designer. And today I'm going to feature two of our products that I happen to absolutely love. I'm featuring today our Platinum 6 machine. That you can see right here. And I'm going to be talking about our tool in one. And uh, what's really exciting about uh, the Spellbinders Platinum 6 is one, just look at the beauty of it. I love the color. I love how sleek it looks and it's very modern. Um, the nice part is it's portable, it has a handle and you can take it places with you. It weighs about 12 pounds and I'll discuss the inner body of the machine in just a few minutes. Um, it's really easy to use. We have both two drawers that fold down so it's ready to go and then we have a really pretty little handle. So I'm going to show you a few little features of the machine, but I want to show you the guts because I think that's really important. Here, I brought the guts of the machine. Let me move the machine over because I want you to see this. Inside the machine is this steel body and it has steel gears as well. And I think that's important because this machine is going to hold up. It's super durable. It's got all steel rollers, which helps feed the die through the machine. And it has a steel body that encases all of it. So this is gonna prevent any kind of breakage that you do, unless you insert something that doesn't belong. It's really not gonna break. It's a great, sturdy little machine. So that's what the body and guts look like in this machine. But let me show you what the machine can actually do. So we sell basically three, three different types of uh, dies and uh, products that um, you can create projects from. One of them is our uh, contour die and that feeds right through this machine. We have a six inch slot that allows this die to feed right through there. But inside this die is um, a steel rule blade. And what that steel rule blade does is it cuts really um, durable materials. Anything a pair of scissors can cut, this steel rule blade can also cut. So I'm gonna show you a few different products that this can cut. So let's take a look at them. One of them is um, burlap. And I'm going to put this down on my cutting plate. And you have the option of either putting your burlap down on top of your die, or you can put this down on your cutting plate and place it this way. Um, I prefer to do it the other way because I like to see exactly where it's lining up. So I'm going to put this on top there. And then we always make a sandwich, so we're going to put another cutting plate right on top. If you'll notice, these cutting plates have little lines and marks in them. That is from taking the beading of the contour steel blade inside this uh, die. That's normal wear and tear. You will hear it kind of make a crackling sound in the beginning. That's also very normal. It's just that blade going into that um, cutting pad. So that's normal. So now we're just gonna insert this into the machine. If you put your hand on top of the handle and then use your other hand to turn and crank the machine, you will keep it steady. Makes it really easy. And then here are all your pieces and it cut right through that burlap. And mind you, I want you to notice this burlap on the back side, we also have paper on there. So it's cutting two different layers right there. Pretty amazing. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you a couple other pieces cause I just want you to see how thick of materials can cut. This is also a piece of balsa wood. It's fairly thin, but it's still, still really easy to cut through. You can try different types of materials. If, if it won't take it, it just won't feed through the machine at all. So again, make that sandwich, get it engaged, and then put your hand on top of the handle. Secure the machine. Look at that, isn't that sweet? These are really fun. You can paint them up or leave them natural and make a little project out of them. And how about some cork? Cork's kind of fun. And this is actually cork with adhesive on the back. So again, a couple layers in there. Engage it into the machine, hold it down. Crank it through, and now we're going to use some corrugated cardboard. No problem cutting that. Again, a pair of scissors would have cut this, so you know that this die is going to be able to cut that as well. All right, and another type of die that we uh, have made is a chemically etched die, and that's what one of these look like. If you'll notice, um, the one side, there's actually a raised image. That is the cutting line. This is not the same type of material that you found in the contour die. As you can see, they're different. This is more of a raised image. We call this a chemically etched die, CED. 
Um, they're great for cutting out paper. They cut out a little bit of felt and some fabric. If the designs are not complicated, this one is very detailed. So it obviously won't be able to cut through those type of materials, but it will cut through paper and it'll cut through paper beautifully actually. And I'm gonna show you a, a sample of that. So again, um, we're gonna go ahead and use our cutting plates, but this time, if you've noticed, I've put a platform inside our machine because um, the die is much thinner and it needs to be raised up to meet those rollers inside the machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm just putting down a piece of light, lighter weight cardstock, but it's cardstock. And then just run this through the machine. I want to show you something. I'm going to check this on the back side. Sometimes the pressure is a little inconsistent when it goes through your machine. Your blades are the same, but it gets more pressure on the outside. So you'll notice that this got cut on the inside, uh, outside right here, but there's little bits and pieces missing here. So what I like to do is just run them through a different way and then you'll um, get those to cut on through. Clean cut. Can you see that? Isn't that beautiful? Now I'm going to set this one aside for a minute. I'll show you what it looks like completed because I want to show you one of our other tools on how to remove all those little parts and pieces of paper. So I'm going to set that aside for now. And the third type of product that we produce is a, an embossing folder. And that runs through this machine so smoothly and it's probably one of my favorite products to use just because it's so simple and easy and the wow factor is just, it's just amazing. So what we're going to do is open up our folder and I'm gonna slide in a piece of paper and close it. Now here's where this is a little different. You're only gonna use one cutting pad with this. Based on how thick this is, it only takes one cutting pad to run it through. So you're gonna lay this right on top. And look at that beauty. Isn't that beautiful? Look how detailed that is. Now we're gonna go ahead and start to create a card. Um, I wanna show you a part of our tool in one and what it can do to some flowers that I'm gonna to create to go on this card. Here's what the flowers look like and the leaves. Aren't those beautiful? They're by Becca Fekin and um, I love them. They're absolutely gorgeous. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut. Remember whenever we cut, we're gonna use a cutting pad. I've got my flowers here. They come with four on a pattern. I'm gonna see if I can get the leaves on because sometimes you can do it all at the same time. That looks perfect to me. Put my cutting plate down. And here's our flowers. They actually just fall right out. And they all layer together. So those are our flowers. And then there's just something about this gold poster type paper. It's just so cool. Look at the design in here. Now this brings me to my next favorite tool. This is called the Tool-in-One. And um, I don't know if many of you have seen this, but it's really unique and it has a great application to all of our dies. On one end, there's a brush, our little roller brush. And on the other end is our pick. We like to call it in the art room our pokey tool because it pokes out all those little tiny, little tiny pieces inside the die that you can't get to. Um, and otherwise, the roller takes care of that on the other end, and it's really um, a great tool. Inside, you'll notice, there's a storage facility. I don't know if many of you know that, but you can store all of your different tools inside of here. I guess there's none in here, but anyway, you can put your other uh, tools right inside and screw them closed. What's also nice about this tool is that we come with different tips and different ends based on the type of need that you have. Now, if you'll notice that there are little tiny um, grooves inside your tool. You're going to push back on there and pull this out and in right inside here, I don't know if you can see, but there's a little metal knob and that tells you where to line up those little holes that you see so that it stays securely fastened inside the tool in one. So a different, another different tool that we have in here is a spatula, you'll see, and see those little, see those little uh, notches and grooves? They line up with that little, it's kind of hard to see there, metal piece. And you're just gonna slide that in and they allow you to choose how far you want it to go. So now you've got a spatula. 
And what that does is, remember this piece that I cut out over here? If you were to have some part that was kind of wedged in there, you take your little spatula tool and you're able to scoop it in there and it helps push it out. Then we also have a brayer and it's the same thing. This also has the grooves on it. You're gonna just line it up with a little knob. And this allows you to use your inks to color up uh, like your embossing uh, paper that I had out here earlier. This is our quilling tool. And if any of you know what quilling tool is, it's actually a little tiny metal, uh, has a little slit inside the metal and it allows you to insert a little tiny strip of paper and it allows you to roll and curl that paper up. It makes little flowers and little leaves. And then I'm gonna shade this one, which we're gonna be using next. This is our stylus and we actually have three different stylus that come in each package. We have um, the medium size, the large size, and I think this one's really hard to see, but it's a little tiny, it's a smaller one. And I'm gonna use my um, uh, tool today to shape my flowers because I would like my flowers to kind of come up and form they're not, so they're not so flat. So that's what I'm gonna use my tool for today. So I'm gonna pull up the flowers that I cut previously. And using my, um, my piercing mat here, I'm just gonna go in and just kind of roll the ball around a little bit. See how the flowers are starting to form? They start popping up. It's exactly what you want to have happen. And then if you go around a little bit, now look at my flower, you see how it's made a cup shape? Okay, so those are your flowers. We're gonna set those aside. And then I just wanna show you how this brush works. You see all those little tiny pieces in there? Sometimes they pop right out, but other times it takes just a little bit of help. And you're just gonna run this brush right over it, and they're gonna pop right out. So now we're ready to assemble our card. We're going to use our white card and envelope set, and I've gone ahead and trimmed down the card base simply to accommodate the size of the die that I cut. And I've gone ahead and cut one of these out in the gold too. I thought that was beautiful. I love the little details on there, and I love how you can allow a little of it to peek out underneath your um, initial base. So, head, I've got some foam dots on the back. I'm a big foam dot adhesive person, so you'll need to check them out at scrapbook.com because they're amazing. I love dimension. And then here's where the magic happens. Go ahead, and I use the foam dots again and then I'm gonna line these up here, but just be off slightly askew so you can see a little bit of that gold. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add my flowers on top of my card. Um, you know I've already gone ahead and used um, the tool to make the flowers look rounded, and I've already assembled some of them, and they look like this. And I used the Nouveau Drops that we sell here at scrapbook.com to add a little center to my flower. Go ahead and assemble them here. What I like to do is I like to lay them all down kind of first to see where I want to place them, move them around a little bit, and then I'm good to go, so. And there's my card all ready to go. And if you want, you could go back in and add some little Nouveau drops back in here and add little pearl effects, or you can leave it just the way it is. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happy crafting!